Replacing windows can look pretty easy when you're watching a how-to video or a TV show with professionals who do it every day. But in reality, there are a lot of special tools and skills needed to do the job correctly. So let's meet up with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction to see how a window is properly replaced. Well, here's the rough opening, and you know, as I glance at it, it's in remarkably good shape. I was expecting it to be in worse shape because of all the moisture problems. Yeah, you know, can you imagine what they'd have waited for two, three more years, and that rot would have gotten from the window frame actually into the rough opening? How much more work and money that would have cost them? That's why when you see telltale signs like that mold on the window, that's the time to act. Don't wait for the window to be falling apart because when that happens, usually water's in the frame. Do you run into that very often where it's actually rotting out the frame? You know, I'd probably say about half the amount of time we're fixing some of the wood inside the rough opening or some of the sheathing on the outside of the wall. And a lot of the time, the reason that's happening is because of poor installation. I mean, off camera, you were sharing with me that incredible story how you took a perfectly good window, but it was installed incorrectly and there are a lot of big problems. Yeah, you know, made a mistake and somebody, a customer of ours had seen our show, wanted the season guard window, but they had a contractor building a pole barn with the mother-in-law quarters on it. And then they said, you know what, we can install the windows if you can get them. So I said, you know what, fine, I'm just going to go order the windows for you, sell you the windows, you guys can install them, against my better judgment. About six months later, I get a phone call saying, hey, the windows seem to be leaking air, um, my mother-in-law says it's cold and drafting the room. I said, well, that doesn't sound right. I'll come out to the house and we'll take a look at it. And I bring, of course, Jake and Jim, the guys we have working on this job, <laughs> you know, been partners for seven years. That's with all of my window guys. They, they get a partnership and then they just continue to use it and get more efficient as the years go by. In a half a day, but again, Six hours we're going to spend there and go through from window to window to window. None of them were foamed properly. They weren't shimmed properly. They weren't set in the holes properly. So we had to take all of the extension jams off, all of the trim off, and just try to reset the windows, get the reveals right, and make things much, much more comfortable for my friend's mother-in-law. So again, like we always say, you can have the best product in the world, but if it's not installed properly, it's not going to perform properly. Yeah, and more than likely, it's going to cost you more money down the road. Okay, well let's get into the installation process for this particular window. And I know the first thing I saw him do was uh, set all the scaffolding up, mm -hmm. but then actually cut out the existing window. We want to be as gentle as possible and try not to wreck anything that we aren't going to be replacing. This window going from a double pane glass to a triple pane glass, going from a slider to a casement, you're going to have to make sure that everything's structurally sound. So we wanted to go with our brick mold application, which is really going to strengthen that window. These triple pane windows, as you know, are yeah. going to be heavy. They weigh a lot more than what was in here. So as that window's open, you want to make sure nothing can get tweaked or anything. So we cut everything out. We actually cut the siding back. And we do can do this on stucco, steel, the LP, any of the cement boards, any type of siding outside of brick. We're going to do this and get a nice, clean installation. Yeah, I like seeing some of the tricks of the trade there. You use the skill saw to cut around the siding, but then use the multi-tool to cut the nail fin of the old window that was in there. Absolutely. You know, the tools of the trade is what makes this go as fast as we possibly can, but still maintaining first time quality. Okay, and you know, the window came out relatively easy. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed that they were very meticulous in checking the substrate that they're going to be installing the new window on. And if there is any rotten wood or anything that's suspect, of course we're going to replace it. And of course, guys like us are going to have the materials to do that today. We're not going to have to stop. We're not going to have to run to a lumber yard. There's going to be no extra cost in running anywhere or extra time in running anywhere. We're going to be able to do it and do it now. Luckily, we don't have to do much here except for clean it up. We had to cut back the sheetrock a little bit, take the shop back to it, get everything nice and clean as possible so we can start to install our butyl tape. And what we're putting on here today is the barricade tape, ultra flash. It's like an ice and water shield. We're going to come down over the sheathing a little bit, do the whole sill, come up, come up the sides, and make sure should water ever get 
behind our window, get behind our trim, or wind-driven rain, should it fail somewhere, it's going to be able to come back out over the top of the actual sheathing. So everything is meant to get away from the house. So even if it gets in here, it's not going to rot it out. Well, let me tell you, there's no substitute for attention to detail because that leads to ultimate peace of mind and assurance for the homeowner that they're getting the best installation possible after they made the proper selection of getting the best window possible. So let's get out of their way, let them get back at it, and you and I'll stop back once it's installed. Perfect. Well, Andy, the guy sure made short work of the installation of this window. And I know when we were inside, we talked about how you prefer to add a brick mold. And when we talk about a brick mold, it's this area, right? Yeah, on the outside of the window. It's, it's on the outside of the frame, attaches right to the sheathing. I think it actually gives a look, a more aesthetically pleasing look. But like I said, the most important part of the brick mold is how much more structurally sound it actually makes the window. And I noticed when they were installing it, they were actually screwing right through it. And that's part of the strength that they have. It is, but if you notice, you can't see the fasteners. No, not at all. So all of these brick molds have a channel that pops off, so it's all hidden fasteners. Screw right into the sheathing, pop that channel back over the top of it. Again, there's a bead of silicone on the back side of the brick mold that seals directly to the sheathing. And once everything's in and butted up tight to the channel, another bead of silicone along the outside. Again, checks and balances. No water or no air can infiltrate this window. Okay, moving on the inside, I know the ceiling around the window was very important. Yeah, you notice how the window was made a little bit smaller than the actual rough opening. Now once that window is set, we actually take our extension jams and move them in a little bit more on the actual window frame. So we give ourselves a nice space, even space, all the way around our window that's just big enough to fit our foam gun and we can foam nice and slow all the way out to the extension jam and then cover that all up with our casing so you're getting insulation you're getting air infiltration and a peace of mind sure and that foam a special foam that's a one-to-one -one expansion so you don't have to worry about it pushing and bowing the window which could ultimately affect the operation if it's the wrong foam yeah we see that on a regular basis especially on double hung windows where they do the foam and now you can only move the window up sure. a little bit because it's bulged over it's not something that we we ever see with my guys. Sure. Okay, and then finally, from an aesthetic standpoint, what a great job matching up the trim, the color of the wood. I mean, everything just looks authentic. Yeah, on this particular one, they opted for us to pre-finish the materials. They wanted to see what it looked like, us pre-finishing. So it's our finish shop did a color match to the existing wood grain, blends in perfectly, and now a completely installed window, completely finished, they're gonna come home, and I know they're gonna be very, very happy. Especially being that it's only 15 years old. I know. You would never think that you'd have to replace your windows after only 15 years, but unfortunately, that's becoming more and more common, especially up here in the upper Midwest, that's for sure. And hopefully these people will never have to worry about it as long as they're in this house. I'm gonna be around for a long time, and I know that we will never get a call that these windows are failing. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.